What's up, guys? This is KCBs here, and today I'm gonna be bringing you guys a passing scheme to get you a lot more points and get a lot more W's out on that gridiron. Now, of course, before we start, guys, go ahead and drop a like on the video because it definitely helps out the channel. And along with that, if you guys do like player reviews, if you guys do like passing schemes, if you guys are into coin making methods, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell just so you're notified anytime we drop anything. All right, so we're coming out in trips tight end. You can find this out of any, not any, but I'd say three fourths of the playbooks in Madden 20 have trips tight end or some variation of it. I know for sure Oakland, New England does. Both of those playbooks definitely have it. And those are the most common playbooks that you're going to see in Madden 20. Now, trips tight end is a really good uh, scheme because if you have the right amount of speed, you kind of start to notice it. It makes the game really fun because you can throw to the middle of the field a lot more on different levels of the field, especially if you mix in running here and there and you uh you know just just throw in different variations and motion different guys over that's the best thing about this you can motion somebody over from any point of the field um any one of these uh wide receivers so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it up like this we're gonna go to put tyree kill let me find tyree kill we're gonna put tyree kill as your wide receiver number one this is exactly how i would set it up in madden ultimate team Tight end number two, or I'm sorry, wide receiver number two. We're gonna put Hardman. He's gonna be like your closest slot receiver. And then in the middle of both these guys, right here, number 14, you can put Sammy Watkins. I mean, because this is a playing with the Chiefs. You want to put your best catch in traffic receiver. Somebody who can catch the ball and hold on to it. Um, doesn't matter who it is. As long as you have somebody like that, you should be really, really good. Of course, tight end. Well, and then as a running back, you want a guy who's pretty fast, somebody who can get between tackles and whatnot. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna run a couple of plays. So if you were setting this up like to like quick hike dudes, I would probably put play action counter as my square inside zone. Verticals, no, I'd probably put double sail. And then you can, yeah, that's good. And then you can start with like halfback mid draw. And now you have a total of five different plays that you can use at any given time. So with that being said, I, this, this works for any defense. I'm not going to give you a play that's like, yo, this works against just cover four, just cover three. That's cool. But then you have to memorize which play works for each. I always stress football dynamics and just football fundamentals over uh, Madden glitches. But... I mean, we all know the glitches work too. So you have to be able to use both, you know? And that's just what it is. So if we come to random play, we'll start anything. I like to start off with a uh, play action slot corner. This is my favorite passing play to start off with, with anything. Now, as always, you're gonna press triangle. You're gonna press R1. You're gonna press R2. And you're gonna put your running back on just the block. You don't wanna play action this because Trust me, it never works. And if it does, it works against, it might work right now because my opponent isn't blitzing, but you're gonna run into a lot of formations where dudes are blitzing, 12 dudes. Uh, all 12 are coming at you screaming. So you have to get the ball out as quick as possible. With this also, I'm reading like, right, I said my opponent has four down linemen. If anybody's blitzing, I guarantee I'm gonna have enough time. But like I said, um, it doesn't look like anybody's blitzing. It looks kind of like everybody's you know, just just playing coverage. So, if they're in a zone, boom! I'm looking for the I'm, I'm looking for the closest zone open, or I'm looking for that deep one right there. See, all I'm doing is watching what the defense is. Uh, you know, what the defense is kind of playing. And right here, I'm looking at the defense. You can tell there's not nobody stacked about the line. He's not trying to confuse me. The computer's not trying to confuse me here. He's playing a basic coverage defense right here. Cover two, cover three. I'd say cover three. He's playing a cover three with uh, the safety coming down as the, as the cover three on the inside. So anyways, he's just playing zone defense. If I know he's playing zone, I know there's gonna be a couple soft spots. Now, 
right here, my, my, my drag route, which should be your first look almost always, that or your tight end, I guess, is getting stuck. It takes him a lot of time. He, he comes here, he gets bumped perfectly. So he's not getting the ball. Unless I want, you know, like a two-yard play, a three-yard play. Or unless I'm getting pressured and I have to get the ball off. This guy is running directly into a zone. So my only options really are this tight end right here, who in Madden, we already know this strong safety is going to decide he can, uh, he has eyes behind his head and he can read exactly what's going on. So if I try to throw it, he's going to be paying attention. So really, your best bet is going to be the guy you motioned over. And this was my motion guy. Motion him over, motion him, motion him over. And you kind of see... I'm looking for the soft spot in coverage, which is right here on the field. Boom. Very, very, very basic. You can do this against cover three. When somebody's playing a stock cover three, you can do that against cover three. Now, you always want to mix that in with, like I said, different run plays. So we still have inside zone, right? Inside zone is a great run play because um, you're able to motion the guy over. You press it here. And you just follow your blocks and, 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 and you follow the holes. The cool thing about this is depending on which guy you motion over, you run that way. So usually this is how I keep it. I keep it really simple. If I motion my furthest receiver over, I motion him here and I run to the outside almost always. Almost always because it tends to make shift the defense in a little bit and you're able to get a little more you know space on the outside. Let's try that again. Just so I can show you what I'm talking about. This, this running back is also a little slow too, so it's kind of hard to get to show you the speed. Now, this is a halfback draw, so even there, you know. Halfback draw is very similar to, I'll show you guys that after this. Inside zone, like I said, we're playing inside zone again, and we're gonna go ahead and just motion this guy over. Now, you can motion him over a little bit. Boom, you stop him right here when he gets to that, like left tackle point, and now we're just, we're out. We're out, look at this. Tutty, and that's all we're doing. We're following our blocks. All right, guys, my bad. I was having uh, technical difficulties. OBS was tripping out. So uh, this is me cutting back in. But anyways, so what you have to understand about this inside zone play is it's really, really glitchy because the guy you're motioning over is going to determine kind of like where he's going to run. So if you watch this running back, like I said, I motioned over my furthest receiver. And usually I run out, but I saw that he was creating this hole here. So because he started creating that hole, I'm just following my blocks. And if you do that properly and you mix that in, well, then you have more opportunities to have fun playing the game. Like I said, the two main plays you're going to use are going to be play action slot uh, corner and inside zone mixed in with half back draw play action counter go and double and sell and it's all about just manipulating what you're doing so once again you're gonna put your running back uh, always you're gonna put your running back on um on a on a block and now look at i'm seeing that my opponent he has a lot of guys pressed up at the line so this is perfect so because he has all those guys pressed up at the line he's probably gonna be blitzing me pretty heavy so i could put travis kelsey on a block however that gives his user a lot more ability to pretty much get to me um to one of my three reads you know so what i do is i put travis kelsey on a streak and now his user is probably in the middle of the field it's going to be preoccupied with travis kelsey and then what i'm going to do is this i'm going to motion sam this is very important always remember this i'm going to motion sammy Watkins back in and he's gonna motion that cornerback completely in. And then watch what happens. Boom. So, I'm gonna replay that for you guys one more time too so you can see what's going on here. And like I said, this is the most important part. Anytime you see your opponent is playing a defense like this, this is why a lot of guys base the line. Because when you base the line, it tends to stop your uh, your quarterback from doing this now watch what's happening here so when i start motioning him back here what does it do 
and moves this cornerback over here who's supposed to be playing one-on-one -on -one coverage with this guy he's the only guy there's nobody over here in this part of the field there's nobody here because there's nobody here i know that's probably where i should get the ball out so when i move him in close if i if i was to just leave him unmotioned he might still break free he might still get that post route because let's face it in madden 20 the out routes and the post routes are pretty dangerous if if you were to pass the ball but motioning him inwards just guarantees that this guy he overcommits. he starts to get back in place over here way before he needs to way before he needs to so what happens is boom look at that you just throw it to the outside you lead pass to the outside this is guaranteed 10 10 yards seven yards when i tell you i use that on fourth down uh religiously if i'm if i'm fourth and seven fourth and one and i see my opponents blitzing and i can do that when i tell you i use that religiously i mean hallelujah brother all right now most of you guys have seen that play before but the thing is like i said when you're reading the defense and you're paying attention you're gonna figure out which type of uh you know who to motion over first and foremost and what type of scheme to run out of it because if you pay attention your opponent is usually going to tell you what they're going to do before you hide the ball this is what quarterbacks do um you know and I, i'm not saying i'm an nfl quarterback but i can at the most basic level i can look at a defense and i can be like yo somebody's blitzing somebody's not um and of course you get confused but those two plays simply put inside zone and play action slot corner are going to be your money plays and you can run it seven different ways so yes yeah, six seven different ways literally now when you get a little more intricate and you get a little more bored you want to do more you, you know just a little more a little funner plays you say funner that's a terrible word but a, a little more um i guess like next level like this is like when you when you start passing the ball for real you can do this and this is what you're gonna do you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna send tyree kill over and you're gonna make him a blocker by hiking the ball right now. And now he's a blocker. And now what's happening? Whether it's man or it's zone, this guy is usually gonna get open. So let's try it one more time. Play action, counter, go. And let me show you what's going on on man real quick. And this is the last one I'm gonna go over in depthly. But pretty much as soon as you send him on a block, Tyree Kill becomes a blocker and all you're doing is you're manipulating the defense again because this guy comes in and this guy comes in too so you're just drawing everybody in boom and you're just throwing into the out route that's it nothing special it looks a lot cooler though huh and that's mm, you might not always be your opening like your first open receiver so like i said that's like your this is more intricate when you get here is when it's like, yo, this is why I know what I'm doing. So same thing here. Now instead, I'm gonna motion over triangle. And now I'm creating all types of little routes all over the field, see? And you can make him block, and there you go. You're tied in, he's free to go, boom. It's just all about picking who you wanna motion over. And let's say you don't wanna make that guy a blocker. Just go ahead and not making him a blocker i'm gonna put x on a streak i'm gonna motion over sammy Watkins again and you can you can hike it if you motion over initially or you can hike it now it really doesn't matter but from here you're just reading what's happening boom boom and it's money and it's money and it's money so there you go guys it's a pretty cool way for you to run a couple different passing plays at a trips tight end you can do this with a bunch you can do this with a whole different um you know a couple different uh play, plays or formations you know you just gotta know what you're doing and when to do it double sale i'll do this really quickly um put them on a put them on a slant triangle and then you're gonna hike the ball as soon as he gets over here and watch this i'm just reading what's happening I'm just reading what's happening you're just looking at who's open that's it where's the soft spot where is the soft spot and where can i get the ball out and by you doing so by you motioning that guy over 
I guarantee you your receivers are going to play better. I guarantee you you're going to see a lot more open receivers. And then you start looking downfield more and you realize a lot more people are open. And you'll make a lot more, more, more plays that way. So just pay attention to if your opponent's blitzing, if they're not blitzing, if they're playing zone, if they're playing man. And a lot of guys, they, they do the same play over and over again. So all you have to do is figure that out. And then from there you go. So go out there, guys. Score more points. Trips tight in always. Um, yeah, it works. You know it works. I know it works. So go out there and try. Um, yeah, this is KC Beast. I'm checking in and I'm checking out. I appreciate you guys for checking up. Let me know if you guys have any other formations that you want me to check out for you. Let me know if there's anything that you know that's glitchy and you think I should know about. Let me know if there's anything that you want me to check out as far as playbook wise. If there's a defense you need me to run for you. Um, let me know. Let, let me know. Let me know you guys' fair plays. And uh, I'm going to see you guys next time. So take care.